Alina Rabakina versus Jasmine Paolini is the first quarter final for the ladies' Sukkart Open for 2024. And both players have had different roads to get to this stage. Paolini entered the tournament unseeded and will take on Irani in the first round, which is no problem getting through in straights. 6 1, 6 love. In the second round, she'd take on Onsha Burr, the number seven seed, who had just beaten Alexandrova in an epic match in the first round. And after a very close first set tiebreak, Paolini would get through in straights 7 6 6 4 to advance to the quarterfinals. Rabakina entered the tournament as a number four seed and will get a buy in the first round. In the second Second round, she'd take on Kudamatova, who had just beaten Krajikova in the first round. And this was a battle. After splitting the first two sets, Rabakina would eventually win in three, 7 6 1 6 6 4, to advance to the quarterfinals. These two have played two times before, with the head to head split down the middle 1 1, including a match last year in Rome where Rabakina got the win in straight sets. But they were supposed to play in Dubai this year. Rabakina having to pull out, Paolini ended up winning that tournament after that walkover. So it's going to be really fun to see this year's Paolini take on Rabakina finally after we got robbed of missing that match in Dubai. But Paolini's going to win this one. She needs to get everything back. We saw her do that against Jabir, which was really successful. Just be a brick wall, get everything back, and she needs to fire up. She's already going to do that anyway. That's how she plays. She gets really fired up, and that's where this matchup is going to be really, really fun to watch. Rabakina's going to win this one. She needs to limit the errors. The second set against Kudamato was terrible. She just completely disappeared, and she can't do that against Paolini because Paolini is too emotional, too fired up, and too determined to win this matchup. So... She's got to play much better with Bakken from the start and keep that going throughout the entire match. Really fun matchup. Such a different clash in styles, clash in personalities, fire and ice. But I've got to go with Rabakin in this one. In a close three-setter, I reckon she squeaks it out in the end. Pelini's been great this week. She played a great match against Jabur, but I reckon that Rabakin probably overpowers her in the end on these courts. But let me know down in the comments below who's making the semis.